Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. So I've been using Ableton Live since 2016 and I never knew that it has what I consider the ultimate Squelch synthesizer. So I've been making music with a friend of mine a couple of days ago and he used the analog device to make the squelches in the track we were working on. And man, the moment I heard that tone, that character, I knew this is my new go-to synthesizer to make squelches. And I also knew I'm making this tutorial because this device is really special. And yeah, I... I, I have to tell you about it, you know, like, it's just, I, I cannot, like, keep this a secret. It's just so good. And I've always considered Ableton's analog as some sort of Ableton trying to add, like, analog device to make the software more appealing. And I always thought to myself, okay, I have my version Neutron, or if I want a software, the, you know, UHE synthesizer would do the job really well, you know, as an analog simulation. But this is, nah, this is special. So, yeah. In today's tutorial, we're making squelches with the analog device from Ableton, and I'm showing you how to use it to get like those juicy squelches. But before we dive into this tutorial, if you'd like to help the channel and help me grow it, making more psychedelic music, more psychedelic tutorials, you can consider becoming one of my patrons. And if you want to learn all about making killer modern side trans basslines, my side bass crash course is on my Gumroad alongside my other preset packs. So go check it out. And you can always leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I post content like this every week and special content to my patrons and uh, yeah with that said let's dive into this tutorial so here we are in ableton live and um, we have this uh, groovy sequence going on and what i'm going to do i'll go to instruments and load analog so uh, we're in the key of e so what i'm going to do i'll write a simple pattern, one legato note in E, and I'll set it to octave two, should be good. Now we have this, nothing too special. So if you look at the device, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We have oscillator one, filter one, VCA or amp, uh, oscillator two, filter two, amp number two, noise generator, uh, two LFOs and here we can change the routing of the device and uh, some of the settings. I'm going really br briefly, this is not an overview of the device and when we click on one of the parameters of the device the central window will give us all of the options that we can model it and play with for the selected device. So here we are in the amp section and what I'm going to do I'll get the sustain full, I'll take down the release and I'll take the velocity affecting the envelope amount. So if we change the velocity, the amplitude won't change because I don't want that for a squelch. So now we have this, nothing too special. So what I'll do, I'll take that oscillator a couple of octaves lower, now we have this. And I'll turn off oscillator two for sure, now we have this. Nothing too special, I'm just giving some more volume. Perfect. I'll turn on the first LFO, like so. I'll leave it on sine wave, but I'll set the rate to, for now, a half A bar. This will help me for the demonstration. And what I'll do, I'll crank, in the oscillator section, I'll crank the pitch modulation from the first LFO all the way up, so now we have this. Pretty nice. Now here's where the magic happens with the filter. So I'll go to my filter in here. I'll set it to bandpass 12 dB per octave. Yes, it's a 12 dB per octave filter, but crank that resonance a little bit up and check this character. Isn't it just, oh, ah, man, this is, I, I love it. It's just awesome. So now that you've heard its unique character, here's what we can do with it. 
I'll leave the filter like so for now and I'll go to the LFO, I'll set it to Hertz like so. And what I'm going to do, I'll write an automation playing with the LFO rate. Okay, so let's do this. And now to, on top of that, what I'll do, I'll do, write another automation, but for the filter frequency. Perfect. So now we have this pattern. Let me just consolidate it again. Maybe give it a little bit more resonance. And let's add some delay. Man, this character is so juicy. And with the kick and bass, we will have this. Isn't this just awesome? And like this character, man, I'm, just, I'm always like, every time I hear it, I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. And, and now what we're going to do, you know, we can duplicate it and, uh, you know, freeze it, sample it, you know, like bounce it out. And, and we can do is just cherry pick the parts that you like the most and put them, you know, throughout the track and for sure just make better automations i made automations on the fly so they're not like the most precise and best automations ever just you know for the sake of the demonstration but uh yeah with this uh this is the end of this tutorial i really hope you've liked it and i really hope you've liked that awesome character as much as i do and uh, yeah see you next time